City Council intern Patrice Collins is helping sort through a sea of paperwork in the office she shares with President Pro Tem Jay Roberson. I always tell young people throughout the city of Birmingham that this office is not my office, it's yours. Collins is one of a dozen students who will get the opportunity to work in the city council's office this year. She says this hands-on lesson in city government is preparing her for the real world. So you definitely want to be a uh, listener, um, on time, dependable, responsible, and dedicated to what you're doing and making sure this is what you really want to do because it's work. This, this is no game at all. President Pro Tem Roberson says he considers the internship program a valuable tool for the students in his district. Okay, and what's a good contact number? Along with taking calls, students like Collins help with data research and outreach efforts, which entails venturing out into the community to take pictures and talk with residents who have concerns. I'm a people person. I'm good with getting out in the community, getting people involved, so that's like my strength right there. <laughs> So yeah, this is like perfect for me. Interns also attend committee meetings like budget and finance, planning and zoning, and sit in on legislative agenda talks, laying the groundwork for Colin's career as an entrepreneur, real estate agent, or stockbroker. Anytime that we can expose our young people to another profession, uh, to another opportunity, uh, it helps them out in the long run. And it will give them a vision of what they want to do and help mold them uh, and the next steps as a professional or whatever career they choose. Collins says although this is partly her office, she's not ready for the president pro tem to hand over the keys just yet. Seeing it in the inside, I used to be the ones that used to complain about, oh, it's a bump in the robe, or they need to fix this, they need to fix that. But being behind the scenes, I see that they deal with a lot of issues. So just because you put a concern in and they don't respond right away, it doesn't mean they're ignoring you. I mean, it's Millions of people that live here in Birmingham, they have to address those people's issues that was put in prior to your issue. So I'm starting to understand it from both sides now. For all the latest news and information, connect with our community or visit our website and subscribe to news updates.